Hello everyone, I am presenting a quick guide to Google Forms. How to use Google Forms for quizzes, questionnaire and assessments, online assessments. There are two ways through which you can access Google Forms, one through your Google Chrome browser and another one from your Google Drive. In fact, Google Forms is a feature, is an app of Google Drive so it would be connected to your Google Drive. At first, through your browser, go to your browser, type in Google Forms, and wait for the search results. The first option you would get, Google Forms, you need to click on that. Once you click on that, you would get this screen, and you need to go for Personal. You would not choose Business, you would go Personal, go to Google Forms and then you would get this interface with all the templates you need to simply go to blank start a new blank form this is the interface of Google Forms another way to access it by going to your Google Drive you need to go to your Google Drive click on new once you click on new you would get several options click on more and then go to Google Forms. That will take you to the same interface of Google Forms. Now, very simply, you can prepare questions here. Just name it first. I'm naming it first. For example, I'm naming it MCQ Sample. Sample Learning. And here, it would appear. Now, the first question that you can put here you can either type here or copy and paste. Here you would get all the options to select the type of questions. So you would choose multiple choice for the objective assessment. And thereafter in the question, you can type question or you go to your question bank. I'm going to my question bank here and I'm taking a question from here. Just copy copy your question. Then go back to Google Forms. Paste the question. Then go back to the question bank and go for the options here. I have copied all the options Collectively, you can copy all of them in this way and it will take all the options. Go there and the option one, just go there and paste it. Once you paste the option, it would be saved. You can add another question by clicking on the plus sign. Take another question. At first, you would need to copy the question, paste the question there, and then go for the options. Select all the options and go to Google Forms and then paste it. So, now you understood how to prepare the question it's pretty simple in Google Forms and in the same way you can add as many questions as you wish now it is important to work on the settings of Google Forms you can also customize theme here you go to you need to click on three vertical dots that is at the top right hand corner click on the dots then you can go to preferences once you click on preferences you would have these options uh, put a check mark on collect email addresses if you want to conduct the assessment make questions required if you want the questions to be required put a check mark there or else uncheck it and you can put a default quiz point value for all the questions for example i'm putting one here for all the objective questions so whatever questions i would be adding those questions would bear one point or one mark. 
then you need to click on the gear icon once you click on the gear or the settings icon you have three tabs here for general collect email addresses response receipts if you want the receipts to be sent to the respondent you can select that and both the options are there whichever option you wish you can select that if you want people to be limited to one response so that they could not attempt the same questionnaire again and again you can put a check mark here to limit to one response and that would require sign in from the respondents end or the users end respondent can edit after submit ideally this option should not be check mark because in that case they, the users or the respondents would be able to edit the the answers or the questions here answers here now go to presentation and here if you want to show the progress bar put a check mark if you want to shuffle the question order so automatically the system will shuffle the question order and here confirmation message you can put any confirmation message your response has been recorded thank you whatever you wish to be displayed once the respondent would submit the question the third tab is quizzes which is very important you need to turn on and make it a quiz this is extremely important make this a quiz and you have two quiz options to release grade to release the results one immediately after each submission and the second one is later after manual review if you want the results not to be published immediately to the students you can go for the second option and thereafter you have other options for respondents that respondents can see missed questions all these options you can select and you can save so that is all the structure and once this is done it is important to enter the answer key once you click on that click on the question now you would be getting an option to click on answer key and once you click on answer key you have the option to select the right answer and the right answer would be fed in the system again for the second question i am doing it just click on the question the options there and then click on answer key at the bottom and once you click on answer key you would be able to select the correct answer you need to select the correct answer and that would be fed in the system now it is all set for the examination for the assessment when the students would attempt or when the respondents would attempt all the responses would appear here on the responses tab at the top you click on responses you will see all the responses here at one place that is all about it thank you and have a great day